Hello crafty friends, this is card number 3 in the full deck challenge 2. The prompts for this card were chosen by my 9 year old daughter Raffi. They are red, cat, postage stamp, ticket. And she wanted to create a card using her prompts, so this is her card that she created. What I didn't know at the time when she was creating this, she propped up my phone onto my stand over my desk and proceeded to film herself like a tutorial creating this card. I only found out sort of halfway through the video and I encouraged her to continue and promised that I would share it with you. So at the end of this video, I will put her video if you'd like to see it. It's quite long, it's about 25 minutes long. She did not want to cut it shorter or to put it onto high speed like I do mine. She wanted it the original way and you can hear her talking through it. It's actually pretty funny in some places, but also in the background you can hear us talking, you can hear me sort of putting away kitchen dishes, there's lots of house noise. It's very... Um, amateur but i think it's fun and if you'd like to just have a look and um, have a bit of a giggle at her commentary and the way she edited the video with little um, wording and little emojis it's actually pretty cute and now it's time to get down to business Honestly, I did struggle a bit with the cat prompt because I don't have a lot of cat things. I did find this cat, which is sort of like a snow cat, which is from the Digital Collage Club. It's from one of the beautiful um, ranges that Tina has created. I found this and it comes in different um, backgrounds. So I'll see if I could use that or this cat from an Ed and Blyton book. I'm not sure yet which one will suit, but we'll have them together. And then for my ticket, I have this white raffle ticket. For the color red, I've just got these red framed labels that I think I could use. I've got some dark red fabric and then some red thread. And then I found a few postage stamps, which also happen to have a bit of a red color. So I could maybe use those. And a vintage ticket, which could perhaps come to use. I'm going to start the regular way that I start most of my cards just to get a base down to hold our medium. I'm going to add some crumpled up white tissue paper with some Mod Podge. You could also use gel medium, matte medium, craft glue, whatever you have handy. The tissue paper I'm using is the type you use for your gift wrapping and I've crumpled it up in my hand to give it lots of wrinkles and I've mushed it up when I've put it onto the card just to give it some texture and some lines. You could leave it smooth if you prefer that look. Apply a layer of your Mod Podge or Medium on the top just to waterproof it a bit. And then once it's dried very well, you can just trim off or tear off the excess. I'm really not sure what I'm going to be doing yet. I'm just going to work intuitively. So I decided to start by doing two rows of stitching all the way around my card using the red thread, just using the plain running stitch and doing a bit of bunching on the top right hand corner. Now I'm going to cut out my little focal point, my cat or my little snow leopard. I'm going to cut out the two different ones. I'm not quite sure which one will suit yet. The one's got a green background slightly larger and the other one's got a nice back um, red background so i'm just going to fussy cut those out again these are available from digital collage club it works with a membership you can either purchase a year-long membership or a lifetime membership and you have access to thousands and thousands and thousands of printables there's even full um, junk journal kits there's ephemera it is just endless and it's really really worth it i think there is a link in the description box below and if you use my link, you do get a discount. I'm just playing around now with the different elements. I've made a little ruffle with the red fabric just to see if that would um, work. I want to make this quite full of texture. I don't want it too flat. And I'm just sort of moving everything around until I get something that I think looks good. I don't really have a method or a specific formula when I create these or layer them. I really just go with what I feel looks right at that moment. And the idea I think is just to move everything around um, quite a bit until you get the balance that you want. I feel I need a bit of color in the background before I apply all my layers. So I've got this black ink. I've bought it from Kmart here in Australia. And I'm just going to put a paintbrush in and just splatter it over my card, just using ink for something different. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water and just let that ink move around over the wrinkles and the creases and let it create its own effect. I 
Once it's dry, I'm working with the raffle ticket. I've decided to make it sort of like a tab on the card. So I've just folded it in half and I'm going to stitch it down the side of the card, just overhanging slightly. I've tried both focal points, but I keep going back to the one with the red background, the smaller one in the rectangle, which I think I'm going to use. I'm just going now to add also my stamp, just trying to see how I'm going to do that. And I think I'm going to add it as um, an additional tab on the left hand side of the card. And that I'm going to also stitch with just a sewing machine using a zigzag pattern. I want this to have quite a bit of texture so I'm adding some cheesecloth. I just cut a piece and then sort of fray the ends and then I'm adding a piece of red fabric and then I just move the focal point around just to see what it looks like with the other elements underneath. I feel it needs a bit of a contrast in colour, something darker so I've got some black tissue paper that I've crumpled up and torn into a piece that I'm placing on the other side of the focal point and what I'm seeing now is everything is just black white and red which is fine and it's a theme that I will continue with I'm adding a little label underneath just to give it lots of layers and interest and then also popping in a stamp Once I have all my layers and I'm happy with the composition, I'm going to start gluing everything down. I'm using a hot glue gun. You could also use craft glue, whatever you prefer to use. I like to use the glue gun because I have lots of fabric and layers and texture and I feel that it'll stick better. But you can use whatever you prefer. I've added a small amount of black distress ink just around my focal point and I'm adding an additional piece of cheesecloth on the other side of my cluster. You can join in the full deck challenge at any time. This is the second deck that we are doing. There's a playlist for the first. And if you're on Facebook, please do look us up and find the group. Just search full deck challenge group. I would also really love if you subscribed to my channel. I have videos coming out constantly with lots of different content. And also hit the little bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I feel it needs something more still, so I'm just going to cover my focal point and I'm going to apply some white acrylic paint splatter. I just water down my white ac acrylic paint and just use a small paintbrush and just splatter it all over the card. I'm really happy actually with how this has turned out. I'm now going to add a little sentiment. I have my little black and white sentiment which I think balances out really well and the colour suits it. I'll just show you a close up of the card so you can see all the detail and the lovely texture. I really hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. I hope you were inspired to create your own card. Now, as soon as I place my card on my ring with the other cards, it'll flip over to my daughter's video. I really hope you take the time to watch even just a bit of it. I think it's pretty cute. We are just finished getting, putting, well, covering our full, our car playing card with Mod Podge and and tissue paper so we are now going to use this dryer to dry it so I bet you guys heard it when I said through it so I'm gonna fast forward it for you guys so yeah okay we've done that that was actually that's really hot okay um, it's dried now. Well, that actually, that dried really quick. I'm very surprised, actually. I thought it would take a bit longer. Okay, so, maybe because I didn't move too much. Okay, now we're going to close this because we don't want it to dry out. Okay, now we're going to 
We are gonna go get some something that ain't distressing. Yeah, distressing, that's what it's called. Now since since the um the theme is like red oh since i'm using the color red i'm going to also I mean, so my theme is going to be red and this like yellowy color it's called squeeze lemonade so why did i grab so all of them oh there we go okay wait did it whoopsies okay that's fine good thing i'm not wearing my good shirt for this okay so it's like a bright yellow so we're gonna just get in there and then I guess just yeah put it around the edge like that but before I continue I'm just gonna make sure that there isn't a red Scrap that whole lemon squeeze idea. We are going to do a whole red theme, okay? So we've, I found this bigger one called Abandoned Coral. Kind of like a bloody color, to be honest. That does not look like coral. That looks like a, like blood, but that's okay. If you put a bit too much, then it turns out like like this, so that's, a, that's um, something I need to remember next time. Oh dear, I put a bit too much. It looks like, why is it, why does it look like blood? That's not red though. It's fine though, that looks nice. Isn't that Oh, you're using the wrong one with black. And it's yeah. got a stick that goes on it. That's all right, carry on. I like it, don't touch anymore. It's perfect. Okay. I don't think it actually looks red, that's coral, but anyway. Yeah, it's, super, it's called a banded coral, but it looks red. It's actually very nice. That must dry before you do your next layer, please. Finally, that, that thing is kind of hot. I put my hand on it to feel how hot it is. Which? That, that thing's really hot. Yeah, don't burn yourself. Uh, keep up with my lights, please. I already have a explosion. Yeah, I was trying to turn it on, and I'm like, why isn't it turning on? And I'm like, oh, that, that's the one that exploded, okay. Sorry about that. That's my mother, Shanukia. You better subscribe to her or else. Please subscribe. Please. Thank you. Okay. Now, we're just going to dry this. So now that we've done that, next step is... Oh, sorry. Put it a bit. Next step is to do a um oh let me put this away next step is to do a um stamp so we need to put this in the border so that it doesn't get a little crusty okay. so i'm gonna go quickly grab a stamp okay so we've got this whole bucket for luckily as i said my mom has a youtube channel and she has crafting on it right so i've got like a whole room full to to use Okay, so when I said that, I thought that this video would be going on my own channel. So I was just making it for fun, not expecting it to go on in this video, in my mum's video. So that's why it sounds like I'm like making it in a totally different video on my own channel. I thought that I'm going to do that, but then my mum said I can put it in her video. So. So, um, so the theme is also got a cat. So we've got this kind of possum. That's not a possum. It's a wombat. But um, this is cool. But I we I'm gonna try and find like either something red or maybe a cat because that's the whole theme. I'm gonna go with this one because that one's obviously red and then we are going to get we need a oops oops, oops 
Um, we need to put, we need to stick it on. Um, I think we can, we can just, we can just use some, some PVA glue to put through that. With some nice Elmer's purple glue that dries clear. So don't get triggered. Put, put, put. Okay, that's enough. And then we're just going to put it right in the top right corner here. You know, it's only, I feel like since it's not sticking, we can use, oops, this stupid thing. Bleak that out because I don't know if stupid. I'm not gonna bleep it out because I don't know if stupid is a bad word, but bad word. please tell me if it is. I don't know. Um, yeah, we're gonna use this because it says it's fast drying. So we're just gonna put some of this. Put the too much. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Okay, now quickly. Get tissue, wipe this wet paintbrush, and then maybe take. I think I put a bit too much of this, but we're just gonna. <coughs> that stinks. <coughs> okay, we're just gonna do that, and then we're gonna wipe a bit off because I put a bit too much. I'm gonna put that tissue in the bin. Try and get a bit of air in because it stinks so much. I think that should be good. It's kind of like a bit stringy, but it says it is fast. Oh, that's why it's getting stringy because it's fast drying. Oh, okay. Like, see, it's already like it's really fast drying. Like, maybe that like help me fast dry. Okay. Okay, so we've done our stamp. We've done red. We just need to do a cat. And what was the other thing? Hold on, give me one second. This is me editing, and I just went to go check what it was because I forgot. So I just quickly went to check somewhere where I, where I wrote all the things down. So that's where I went. So we need a cat and a ticket. So we're going to go with um, a raffle ticket I have right here. So it's actually red, so this goes with our theme. It's um, it's like a raffle ticket, I'm pretty sure. It's like a whole big roll of them, so we can put it maybe... I mean, we need space for the cat, so I might put it up here. So I'm going to decide what I'm going to put it after I... Because like, I want to find the cat first, so then I can figure out where everything's going to go. So now I see it find this box of cutouts. Where did where is it? I've successfully retrieved the bucket of cutouts. Okay. Carefully rip this out. So we're going to close this up and put this back in because it's falling out a bit. Okay, we're going to put this aside and we're going to see how we're going to get this onto. Um.
Okay, so we're going to just cut out his body. Be really careful again with this. You don't want his whiskers, so I'm going to do that. And then, I don't know, we can... You know what? No, I don't want the whiskers now because that looks kind of weird. And I think we can, yeah, we can keep the crown because that fits. Okay, so we're going to put the little head there. Don't mind this creepy body just there. Okay, we can put, we could put the ticket like a long ways and then we could put the cat here oh i've got an idea we could do one of those like wax things with the hold on one second i need to find it <clears throat> into shapes and then you use it onto your artwork. I don't know if my mum sent in a video before, she might have. Probably has actually. But um Okay, so I thought of a different idea. Instead of doing the wax, because I need my mum for that, we can do Something like this. This is my sister made this. She did like little buttons and little beads. We can do something like that. This was the waxing I was talking about. We can do like little beads or something like that. Like, and then we can put the, move the cap back down. I think it would look better if we like overlap it like that. I think, and then we can put the beads right there. Or we could put the head here and then put the beads there. I feel like the beak would look better on the top. Okay, so let's get out the bee box. We can add some red glitter, I guess. It's a bit hard. Oh my gosh, that's literal jelly. Like, look. That's a literal jelly. That is weird. That's literal gel, like slime. Uh, maybe it's... Ew. What happened to the brush now? Okay, oh, we'll let that soak in there for a few minutes. We can get a new brush. Um, let's grab this one because it's f kind of a bit fluffy. Okay. Let's dip that. That's like so gross. It's like literal jelly. Okay, let's move that around so that it'll. Okay, let's. Some glitter. That, that, that. Some here, some here. Some like this, some here. Mmm. Don't worry, I we will smooth out the lumps. I just need to quickly do that. Okay, put that there. Close this jelly stuff. And then, let's grab that blue again. And then we'll put it... Here. Just gonna go quickly, quickly, quick. Okay, we're gonna overlap the ticket with the cat, even though I feel like the cat might be like the main bit. Do you like it? Do you get what I mean? <laughs> this stuff really reeks. Okay. There's no red body 
things, but I did find, I did find the bucket of beads I was looking for at the start. So we've got all of this stuff. That is kind of cute. Okay. I feel like I'm going to get easily distracted in here, but I need to try my best not to. Okay, what's in here? I've already gotten distracted. Wait, honestly, what is in there? I'm actually, wanna, I'm actually curious about that. I'll try and open it later, okay? Um, so we're looking for anything really red. Is that red or is that hot pink? That's red, I guess. Okay, so then we need, we might want some, oh, it's a cute little watermelon. That's red, but like, it doesn't like go with my theme. Um, and then, okay, we've got two beads right there. And maybe like some two little like circles like on um, this, like maybe in some white or if we can get red. I think it's poked me. Ah, oh, did you see that that was literally stuck in me for a second? Okay, we have to be careful while digging in here because there is actual literal like pokey things. Mark or anything, but it was really stuck in me for a second. Oh, Marty. Okay. <sighs> you might want to make like a neck or something with that. Like, be careful. I told you I'd get distracted. I've already like picked out a few things for later. to pick that up. That is so cute. I think I know what I am going on. Okay. I'm going to close up this box. And. Not eyes. I'll be back in one second. Okay, guys. So, we are not going to be. We just need to glue these buttons on. But I don't think that we should do the little beads. Because I feel like this looks good already. So, we're just going to. Oh, actually. No, never mind. Okay, so we're gonna grab. Actually, you know what? Let's hot glue them so that will stay nice. Okay, we need to plug this bad boy in. There's so many plugs down here. I'm like getting like tangled up in this one. It's okay. I think I need to do that. And that in. And then that's turned on. We need to How do you know if it's turned on? I'm assuming two means it's turned on. Because like to warm up or something. I don't really know. I'm gonna go ask my mum if it needs to warm up or something. I don't know. I don't really use it that much. Alright, we have to wait for this to get warm. 
then we can use it. Oh, that's the ow. I'm actually stuck in my hand. I'm so dumb. Okay, it's getting hot. Let's put this let's put that away. It's getting hot, baby. Okay, okay. Oh dear, it's all sticking together. This is a problem. Okay, we have to be really careful, careful with these because these ones are smaller and then when things are smaller they are harder to hold glue. So be very careful not to burn yourself. And also, you have to not, you have to also put not, not too good a little guy just because then. Ah, uh, burnt myself a little bit, that's okay. Okay, we'll get rid of all the little stringies later, but for now, we'll just leave them because we can't just. Hoeing things are actually a lot harder than I thought. Okay. No, I stop watching a YouTube video when things start getting tired and boring. So I'm going to keep this active. Ooh. Okay, sorry. I know I'm really weird. Okay. Okay, let's um, let's unplug this so that it doesn't overheat, you know, that stuff. So, this is actually my, sorry, this is my finished card. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video very much. I'm not going to show my face because I don't want to. So, and also because I definitely didn't do a horrible, horrible James Charles Rainbow eye, and I don't want to show you. <laughs> I don't really want to put my face. So, I, I mean, you can just look at my card while I talk. So, um, that's the finished thing. So remember the prompt. The prompt is a cat, red, a ticket and a stamp so i hope you guys enjoy creating your card so bye make sure to subscribe and like the video and turn on notifications